If you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart one believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. It's Romans 10, 9 to 10, and it's all about the Lord's plan for salvation for all, for those who have faith. For those who cry out to the Lord will not be put to shame. This whole thing can be bled into Calvinist and predestination doctrine, but it misses the point because he's talking about God's elect, initial elect. They they wanted to stick to the law to prove their own righteousness, and they were not living in faith. And the overwhelming point of this series of chapters in Romans, Romans 9 to 11, is that we are saved by faith, not by our good works or ability to adhere to the law. He calls out the Jews. Some will be saved and some won't. Some will be made jealous by the fact that he opens up the gates of heaven to the Gentiles. And he says the Gentiles who are now grafted in, as some of the Jews were grafted out, but they can be grafted back in through faith. He wants everyone to ultimately repent and accept Jesus as their Savior, as the Messiah that was preordained that was prophesied through the whole Old Testament and came to live amongst them at that time through these books that the Apostle Paul got to see the risen Christ. He experienced both sides when he was the legalistic Jew to when he encountered Christ on the road to Damascus and had a complete spiritual awakening as to what the truth was. And it's just as simple as that. We can read so much into doctrine when you take certain passages, you cherry pick them, and they completely contradict one another. But when you take a giant step back, you remember Proverbs 3, 5, that do not trust your own understanding, but trust God and his understanding. And his, his desire is that everyone would come to repentance. And he leaves that available, and he calls out preachers. And who is going to hear the gospel, the good news, without preachers, without people stepping out in faith? We're saved by our faith, not by our good works, not by our ability to keep the law, but by stepping out in faith and sharing the news of who Jesus is with those who need to hear that news in a dark and fallen world. So if you're unable to keep up to the standard that you think you need to, to follow a certain amount of laws, focus on Jesus and your faith more and planting seeds of faith. And in that faith, love will be shown to your neighbors, believers and non-believers alike, when you step out in faith and love covers up a multitude of sins because we are going to be fallen in our physical nature until the day that we die. The sanctification process will take until our last breath. But we are saved by grace through faith, and it's our faith that makes us righteous and clean before God. So hold on to your faith, despite your seemingly inability to live up to the standards of the law. That is what made so many of the initial elect, of God's elect, the Jews, fall from grace. Because they thought they were special, they were clinging to these laws, and they were self-righteous, but they were not living by faith. It's faith that saves us. So... Stick to that. Just always look to the cross and what Jesus did. It is finished. He became sin on the cross to pay the debt for our sin. And it's our faith in what he did, not in anything we can do, that saves us. So cling to that. Cling to Jesus. I pray this finds you well. God bless. We'll see you tomorrow.